Hello and welcome to the Pro 14 Round 16 Predictions brought to you by Driving Mall. Hi, I'm Paul, the guy behind Driving Mall, a website, a YouTube channel, a Twitter account and also a podcast as well. So whichever way you like to consume your content, um, it's all coming to you from Driving Mall with the best in predictions and opinion. So uh, kicking off the round uh, this weekend is Benetton Treviso hosting Connaught. Now, uh, Connaught lost to Zebre last weekend at home uh, and Benetton are on a five-game winning streak now. Um, and that, impressively, is not just home games but also um, a away, uh, away game against uh, the Dragons um, as well mixed in there. Sure, it wasn't a big win. It was only by three points. Um, and I think this game will be come down to less than a score um, as well. And I'm backing Treviso to win this one at home by five points. Next up, Zebre, who got that win over Connaught. Um, face Cardiff Blues, uh, who have um, who got a, a, on a, a winning a couple of winning streaks themselves, beating both the Cheetahs and Munster at home. But that was at home. Uh, if we look at their away wins, they've only come against Connaught um, and Dragons. I've just said that Zebra beat Connaught away um, last weekend. So this one, I think, is going to be a tight one. Uh, and honestly, I'm not really sure which way it's going to go. But I'm going to get a pump for the home team, so I'm going for Zebra just by the single point. I reckon this is going to be a very tight game. Munster then host Glasgow. Um, Glasgow um, haven't had the best of um, records recently, um, getting uh, a draw against Dragons away um, and beating Cheetahs Bay by 14 points recently. Um, and even losing to Edinburgh um, away as well um, back in December. So not in the best of form, but Munster also in poor form as well. Losing to Cardiff Blues away. They've lost to Ulster Leinster as well in their last five games. They've only beaten Zebra and Connacht recently. Um, so you've got to say they're not in the best of form either. Uh, this one, uh, I'm going to back Glasgow by three. Uh, both of these sides obviously are decimated by the internationals. Um, we'll have to see who um, has a bit the, the, the greater depth. Ospreys then host Cheetahs. And this comes back to this sort of perennial thing that Cheetahs haven't won outside of South Africa all season. Um, Ospreys have actually turned their season around now um, and have won three out of their last four games. Uh, and so I'm going to back Ospreys to win this one by seven. Scarlets then host Ulster. Um, Scarlets, again, another one of these sides that's been decimated by the internationals. They've lost their last two games, um, but Ulster have been up and down, um, having lost three out of their last five games. Um, so they're not going great either. Uh, so I'm going to back Scarlets um, at home by five. A lot of teams struggling um, at this time of year. Um, Dragons host um, Edinburgh, and Dragons have been woeful this season, let's be honest. Uh, only, have, only had two wins um, all season. Now, OK, um, those two wins have come at home and they've also had a couple of draws at home as well um, with Ulster and Glasgow. Um, but I think Edinburgh, who are coming off the back of that good win um, away to Ulster, um, you've got to say um, they're going to be favourites here and I'm backing Ulster, uh, Edinburgh by three. Finally, to finish the round, we have the gimme. Leinster hosting Kings. Kings haven't won a game all season. Leinster at home. Um, I'm backing them by 25 points. Yes, an absolute blowout is what I'm expecting, even with their international call-ups. Anyway, always up for good rugby chats. So please let me know your thoughts um, down below in the comments, or you can get hold of me at Driving Mall on Twitter. I'm always up for good old rugby chats. There'll be my face about there-ish, about now-ish. So please click on there to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And up here, there'll be a box showing my latest video. So hey, go watch some more of my content as well, please. Um, and enjoy whatever rugby you're watching this weekend.